Now, one of the most difficult things in access control is actually managing uh, the access control, creating the accounts, assigning permissions and privileges, but then managing its whole life cycle. And we're going to get a little bit deeper into that where we uh, talk about identity management. But a lot of environments have accounts that, you know, the people have quit and they're called orphan accounts uh, that are not being used anymore. Attackers love that because they can um, find out the credentials for that account and work as a legitimate user and no one would know. Um, and also, we have to, we give everybody too much um, access. Almost every organization has, each user has too much access because it's hard to determine, you know, Fred, does he need uh, access to the file server? Well, what does he need to do, have? Read, write, modify, uh, what about the printer? What about this? What about that? So it's difficult to actually figure out exactly what level of access each user account needs and that's why uh, identity management uh, is really becoming big in the industry and why it's um, on the uh, CISSP exam. And we'll get into that uh, in this domain. Now another difficulty is that it's not just user accounts on an operating system that you have to worry about, but there's user accounts on databases, applications, different platforms, the mainframe, and each one of them all need different uh, permissions and access levels. So. Our environment is, is very complex with the level of um, the type of software that we have out there, but all the users who need to access different things to keep track of that properly is, is um, pretty difficult. Again, why identity management is becoming more important in the industry. So one of the best practice thing to do is that when you get a new employee, they need to sign, they need to read the policy and understand um, um, what they're supposed to do as it, as it pertains to the company assets and information. Um, they should go through some type of security awareness training. And then it's best if you actually have them sign a document stating, yes, I've read the policy, or yes, I've gone through uh, security awareness, because that gives you legal protection. If the user does something that they're not supposed to with your uh, critical data, they can't come back and say they didn't know. And there's a lot of cases where um, the actual employee, the fired employee, won because the company did not do what it was supposed to do. So it's a good practice is after you tell somebody, um, they go through a class or they read the um, policy that they actually have to sign saying that they, uh, they understand.